Okay, so, hi, but I wanna start off this video by saying I did not get the sleep that I wanted to last night. Mm-mm. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You know when you think makeup is gonna help your situation? But really, it just accentuates, accentuates. <laughs> I look a little clowny right now. And you know what? Yes, Carlos, who's editing this, I'm looking at the way I look. I'm a girl. Deal with it. Guys, welcome to mama vlog slash pregnancy vlog episode, whatever these are called. Um, hello. Okay, so I have my cheat sheet below because I can never actually remember anything that I want to talk about because I'm a mom and a wife and I'm pregnant. So I feel like I get a free pass. Yay! So today, I want to just start hammering through some stuff. I have always, I have so much that I want to talk about. I have so much that I want to say. Um, but I want to talk about my current mama favorites. Um, things that I liked while I was pregnant with Ocean, things that I'm enjoying this pregnancy. Uh, I know that we really wanna do a gender reveal with you guys as soon as we find out. So little boy, little girl, whatever you are, we're really excited and hopefully we can do something epic. Uh, me and Carlos are not the waiting type. Like we really wanna know in advance like what we're having so that way we can prepare and and celebrate the little baby and you know come up with names and all that jazz please give us some ideas as far as a gender reveal and that way we can share that with you guys um so yeah think about that other than my current mama favorites that i'm going to talk about like baby wise and mommy wise um i'm also gonna like mark them from a splurge to a necessity. And then I guess there's like a little in between. Strollers slash car seats, because I feel like those are the ones that I always get questions about. Those are the things that as a first time parent, you're like, what do I do? What's the most important? My child has to be safe. I can't believe they're letting me take this thing home from the hospital. So when we got home from the hospital, he was in a four mom's car seat. Really, really great. We have two cars, so we had to have uh, two car seats. So in Carlos's car, he had the four moms. Um, in my car, because we were always traveling so, so much, I had the Duna car seat stroller. Now the four moms was just a car seat. The Duna is like car seat on crack. The thing is unreal. Literally, it is a car seat and whoop, it's a stroller. Whoop, it's a stroller. Car seat, stroller. Like there isn't a, let me unhook this thing and put this over there, like no. Literally, Ocean can stay asleep, and I just uh, turn it into a car seat. It was probably, you guys probably saw it on our YouTubes, Instagram, whatever, all over the place. Um, I actually have pictures of everything that we used. Carlos, can you pull those up? I don't know if you're gonna put them here, or here, or here, or wherever, but that's the Duna. It's really, really awesome. I hope you guys like it. Uh, definitely check that out if you are a traveling bunch. I really, really recommend the Duna. The next stroller that we used a whole, whole lot was the Uppa Baby. I think we had the Vista. I'm not sure, there are a whole bunch of different versions, but with the Uppa Baby, we were able to actually pack a whole bunch of stuff underneath in like little loading compartment and all around the stroller. Definitely not what it's meant for, but we had a multi-use stroller and it was also a, a car seat. Uh, and it was a really safe car seat, so we felt pretty good about that. We would walk home from the grocery store when we were filming in Vancouver and Ocean was just loaded up with groceries all around his little like car seat stroller thing because it was literally a multi multi-use stroller uh, but yes like I said that's probably not suggested but that's what we did and we liked it as far as car seat strollers that we use right now because Ocean has grown out of all of those no longer useful our child is huge um, we could probably most definitely use um, all of that stuff for the new little one um, I'm sure there's also newer stuff out there I have to do my research but this is just the knowledge that I have. For strollers, we are using the Juvie stroller. I think it's called the Juvie 
lightweight, I might be guessing, but it's great. We use it all the time, we travel with it. It's really, really awesome. Um, however, now that Ocean is two, he is required to have his own seat on the airplane. Um, I have mixed feelings about this just because one, tickets are really expensive and he's a third of a human. I mean, not, I mean, he's fully human, but you know what I mean. Also, it does give me more freedom because he's not sitting on my lap and I can actually rest a little bit more. So we were looking to see if our current car seat was approved for airlines and it was. I'm so excited. Okay, so it's a weird name. It's called the Kleck Funf. Might have to spell that out. Uh, but basically, this sucker's huge. It's not small, it sucks putting together, it's really, really hard, but I gotta give it a 10 out of 10 because it's really, really good. It's, your baby is safe in that car seat. I feel really strongly about it. Um, I don't, I don't know much about, um, setting up part because that was all on Carlos, but I just remember it being really hard and I was having to YouTube it. Like we called our friend Vanessa who does all sorts of baby nursery designs. She knows all the products. She's amazing. Like our go-to guru when it comes to baby things. What the heck do we do, girl? She's like, it's gonna be a pain in the butt, but it'll be your favorite car seat out there. <laughs> um, and she wasn't, she was not wrong. It really is amazing. But you guys, we went online and we found these wheels that you can attach to it. And basically when we get to the airport, once we get through security, we put Ocean right in the car seat before we get on the airplane and we can roll him around the airport. That way he's already cozy in there, he's adjusted. There's no fighting to get him in it on the seat, uh, in the seat on the airplane and whatnot. And we can just roll him around. So basically if we want to, we could check the stroller underneath and just roll Ocean through the airport in this, um, in this car seat. Things that I already talked about that I really liked, but I'll just recap real fast, were the Snoo, the Halo I didn't use, but my best friend used like crazy, uh, Nook, uh, which is like a little sleeping pad, really great. And the Medela pump, as far as pumping, I, I just responded the best to the Medela pump. Sorry, looking at my cheat sheet right here so we could keep going. One of my absolutely favorite things that I used, we had an infant version and then there's a larger version for when uh, your baby is not so infant anymore. The Dockatot. It is stinking adorable. Like really, really adorable. And you can either go funky, you can go classy, just simple colors, whatever. But please, please check it out. It's something I highly recommend. This I really do think is a necessity. Uh, I try, you, it's so, it's, it's compact. It's very, very easy. Compact in the sense that it's light and easy to take around. I guess you can't really fold it or anything, but um, I would take it with us everywhere. You can take it to the beach, to the park, to your friend's house. If you need to put your baby down somewhere, it's a really safe place to put your kid down. So I really, really recommend the Dock -a -tot. I I liked that. I know that most people say that walkers will stunt your kid from, from walking or moving around faster, but I've had the opposite experience and so did my mom. My mom put me in a walker when I was really little and I started walking at six months. No, that's probably not the recommended age, but I was a freak child. Ocean started walking at eight months and I strongly believe it was because one, he was an active child, every kid is different, but two, we put him in this thing called the Juvie Spoon and he had the freedom to go explore the house, explore his surroundings, but he was safe in this little spoon thing and we could put little snacks on there and we were always watching him, but it was the cutest thing because it encouraged him to go check things out. So whenever he wasn't in the spoon, he was excited about going to explore. So it just got him way more active. It made his legs super strong. It didn't make him lazy. And it encouraged that adventure side of him, which I really, really liked. So maybe it'll be good for your spoon, for your spoon, for your child, <laughs> but definitely check out the Juvie uh, Walker spoon thing. The Fisher Price Rock and Play Sleeper, it was, a version by like a designer, something Adler. I don't remember his name, I'm really sorry. Uh, but we really liked that Ocean would fall asleep in that within like 10 minutes. Oh, I think somebody's here. Hold please. Two, three, hi, look, look, hi. You don't need that, say hi. Yeah, okay, go, so, run, run, run. Yeah? What happened? Purple? Oh, you wanna draw? You wanna draw for a second? So here we go, the, the last couple things I have 
Um, the pack and play by four moms we traveled with everywhere. That thing was a lifesaver until Ocean discovered that he could crawl out of it. We were filming Love at Sea and all freedom was lost when Ocean crawled out of his pack and play one day. But seriously, that sucker was amazing. We loved it. Thank you, four moms. That, that was a saving grace. Gave us a lot of freedom. Um, so I really recommend that. And last but not least, something called the Dome Sound Machine. It is 50 bucks. It sounds way expensive and ridiculous because you're like, I could just use my phone as a sound machine or whatever. You guys, we literally have a dome sound machine in every single room of our home because it gives, I don't know, it just gives off this, like it blows real air out of it. So it doesn't sound like a machine, but it also, helps Ocean sleep better, it helps us sleep better, we always travel with one, it's been a lifesaver. Docketot, I think it's a necessity. Some people might say it's a splurge, I actually don't know how much it is, but I would rank that as a necessity because I am definitely gonna get another one for this next baby. For us, because we travel so much, the Duna was a necessity. And I would also say the Klek Foomf, a necessity. The Sound Machine, necessity. <laughs> the Medela Pump, necessity. If you can get away with not having a pack and play for your child, then I guess that would be a splurge. My child was very, very active. So the pack and play was a necessity for us. And the Juvie Walker was, oh, I say it's a necessity because I loved it. I think for some people it might be considered a splurge because it might not be necessary, but I really, really liked it. Rock and Play Sleeper, that was probably a splurge because we could have used some of the other things that we already had, but he really, really liked it. He responded to it well, so I call that an in-between. Okay, um, uh, those are the things that I wanted to talk about today. I guess that's all I have. That's all I have. I mean, I have a lot. I have a lot written down. I'm gonna do a follow-up, you guys. Um, and I want to talk about clothes. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Maybe you'll get two back to back. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, love you guys. Ciao,